hello and welcome back. Um, for this task number two, I'm going to um, add and modify the uh, SSSD config file. Okay, that's the file I'm going to modify. And then I'm going to allow only the username called root and a username. I might call, I might going to add one more username. All right, not user. Oh, okay, I'm going to add user one. So only the two usernames are able to log in remote using PubSy as it is at the moment, right? This is a remote login and this is my CentOS here and you can see that already. So so now, um, remember only allow two user login from remote only, yeah? But more, more specific option, you can give them that user access from a particular computer as well. Are you following? So, the two tasks, okay, number one, I'm, uh, I'm modifying that file, right? Then I'm going to allow root access from anywhere, but I give this test also from any, anywhere, but later on, I'm going to allow the test one access from a particular computer only. It means that from the current computer, we're not able to log in. Are you follow? No, actually, I'm not going to do that. I just do the basic stuff now, all right? So the username root already enabled, and the test at the moment not yet enabled, so I'm going to allow that root, okay? Uh, user as test one. So I'm at the new new username, and I give the password for that. Okay, so now I have the username test already. So at the moment, um, and then I make one more user. Is that alright? So that user, I'm not add into the SS SSSD config. So I'm going to add one more user, but I'm not going to add that into this file. The new user will be not able to access. So I do the user number three, uh, two. Okay. For testing purpose only. All right. So now I'm going to modify the the config file. That is where the location of the SSH server configuration file of SSH. No, no. So by default, what it is, what it is. I'll leave it what it is, right? I, I just go to the end. I'm going to very end. So I'm, I'm going to tap uh, allow user and first user is root space second user. That's it. Okay, where this came from? Where does allow user from? So if you have an issue or want to learn to learn more, you can go to die.net here and then search for that file. It came out here. So all you got to do is search is uh, sshd underscore config. And then it come out similar. So D there. That's not, we're not going here, right? There's a client file. If you do anything with Amazon, you might. But that's what we're going to do. So have a look what the option called allow there. Okay, allow users. Any user listed there, we allow. If any user is not listed there, no chance to come in. All right. But if for you, for you may go to one more option that might help you a lot in the future. That P, have a look for P. Um, P, there we go. Somehow you just allow, just run like that and equal yes. Okay root permit only nothing else or you can say root normally in you in ubuntu this one by default they shut it down so no root access from remote at beginning uh, some some system that don't allow you root access from remote so all you got to do is permit login uh, permit root login equal no all right but we don't go to that you know distance in this you know particular example so now, what, we, what I just have now is allows space root and space a username, right? Alright, thank you. Double L. So I'm going to save, right? Control O, enter, get out there, and restart the SSH. So how many users I have? Root, test1, and test2. 
two. Now I'm going to right click in here and then I'm going to duplicate the session, right? So root of course can log in, right? What about test one? Test one. Test one. Uh oh. I thought the wrong password. I can log in, right? Now I'm getting out of there. I'm going to log in duplicate session again. I'm test test number two. Password. Again, it not let me. All right. So now you can come come in here. Uh, go into what is that? Less var log sec If you go on the way to the end of this file, you can see that here. The, the username test two more authentication fail. Connection fail or that been fail. Okay, there. SSS authentication fail for test number two. From where? Our host. See that our host remote host and remote username equal there and the test number two not lo not let you in. On other on other um, test test one test two here session there that let you go and authentication issue. So when you look at SSD authentication is authentication issue. It means I not let you go in. Does that make sense? So that help you to see if you don't allow them, they're just not able to log in. And that how you monitoring which username being failed and why they failed. Is that right? That how you look at that. So I show you the log file again. It's in here for SSH for failing logging for SSH logging. All right, people. So please do a test on that, and then uh, we move to the next task just in a moment for that particular port. All right. So now try that out, and then see how you go. Bye for now.